Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to access the device address book using Ionic Framework, Energy Cordova, um, and this will work on Android and iOS. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a fresh Ionic Framework project. So we can do that by going like this. Alright, with the project created, let's go ahead and add the Android platform. Now, if I were on a Mac, I could also add the iOS platform, but because I'm on Ubuntu Linux, I can only add Android. iOS is for only, only for Mac. Alright, with the Android platform added, the next thing we want to do is we want to add the contact plug-in from Apache Cordova, so that way we can access the native device address book. So to do that, let's do the following. And you can see it was added for Android. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to download um, NG Cordova, the Angular JS extension set for Ionic Framework. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded it from their website. It's on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and copy that into my new project folder. It's going to be www.js and then it's going to sit right next to my app.js file. So let's go ahead and open up our index.html file. Let me close all this stuff. All right. And we want to go ahead and include the um, NG Cordova script above our Cordova script. It has to be above, otherwise it's not going to work. And remember, we copied the minified version because it's more optimized. So save that. Let's go ahead and open up our app.js file. And we need to go ahead and add it to our Angular module. All right, with that added, let's go ahead and clean this up a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and create a controller, which is going to be in charge of all of our contact management stuff. Notice how I'm adding Cordova contacts because that is how we're going to be accessing the, the address book. All right, so our controller is going to have a few functions in it. Let's go ahead and start by creating the get contact list function, and then it's going to be Cordova contacts dot find and then we're going to pass in a filter and our filter is going to be a blank string because we want it to return all contacts if I were to enter Nick in here it would find all contacts with um, some text called Nick but we're going to do all and it does use a promise so we're going to take advantage of that. And we are going to return the result, which is going to be an array of contact objects. All right. With that done, let's go to our index.html. We're going to go ahead and add a few things um, for our app to make it look nice. So let's go ahead and include our controller. And we're going to add a few buttons here.
All right. So this button is going to be responsible for calling our contact list. And we're going to go ahead and add a new list item, a, a list uh, object. Ion item. And then we're going to have a loop of, op of items. And that's going to be contact in contact. Alright, so what I did here was I created a, a list and it's going to loop through all of our contacts that we returned when we did the find. And it's going to show the display name for each list for each list element. So let's go ahead and save it and first let me verify everything looks good. Everything looks good. So going back to our, to our uh, terminal, we're going to go ahead and build it. While that's building, let me show you that um, what the current address book looks like. The current address book has two contacts in it, Nick Raboy and Maria Campos. So just take note of that for now. And again, if you're on a Mac, you can also build for iOS. Should be almost done building. Alright, it's done building, so now we can install it. Alright, it's installed and we can see that it's here. And we can see that we have one button and we're going to go ahead and click it. And after we clicked it, you can see that it displayed both of our two new contacts, uh, which, which are currently in our address book. And you can click that as many times as you want, nothing that's going to change. So the next thing we want to do is we want to think about creating a contact. So let's go back into our code and we're going to create another function. And we're going to call that save and we're going to pass in an object here. Oops. Made some errors here. There we go. All right. And we don't really care what the well, at least I don't really care what the results are on this, so I'm just gonna leave it blank here. All right. So what exactly is happening here? We are saving a new contact object. We're only saving the display name. Um, if you look at the official Apache Cordova contact API, there are a lot of fields that you can use inside of this object like address and, and website, well, but I'm only going to worry about the display name for now. So let's go ahead and save that. We're going to create a new button for it too. Let's go back into our HTML and we're going to create a new button. However, uh, before we run this, I actually do want to add something to the to the success callback. I want to add this. So why did I add this? Now when we go ahead and create our new button to create this new contact, I want it to refresh the contact list. Because if we were just to create the contact, it wouldn't really display anything until we hit load again. But we want the the new contact to to load after after the contact has been created. So with that done, let's go ahead and build our project again. It should build quicker the second time around.
And then we're going to install it. And I'm going to open it. So I load and there's the two contacts still. But when I'm going to click new, and it went ahead and it added the contact. So if I exit out of this app and I go into our device address book, you can see that this new contact is in the address book. Some, some things to note about um, this code that we have here. Uh, the contact plugin must be done inside of an on ready, on device ready or um, the Ionic platform ready because you cannot request contacts or make any kind of contact changes until uh, the platform is ready. But since we put it in a button, chances are the platform is going to be ready by the time we click that button. But if you wanted it to load all of your contacts and display them on the screen when you open your app, it must be inside of a ready, inside of a ready method.